resistance of the windings. Please be sure to set your multimeter to the resistance mode for this step. Okay, checking from terminal U1 to V, the reading is 43. And now from U to W, the reading is also 43. U1 to W, 1.4. The three phase resistances are unbalanced. I guess it's burned out. It's burned. Finally, as the last step, you'll need to use a megahometer in order to check the insulation resistance to ground. So, now, if the reading you get is still holding above the 50 megaohm threshold, this is a good sign. It usually means that there is only some partial burning occurring at both ends of the windings. Uchi. Once that has been fully confirmed, we can then get started with the process of disassembling the machine to investigate further. For a 5 kilowatt 2 pole water pump of this particular model, let's walk through the correct disassembly procedure. You will only need to focus on removing the part at the top, not the bottom. Specifically, we just need to take out the long fasteners or bolts holding the top section together. It is very important to remember that there is absolutely no need to touch or try to disassemble the bottom part of the unit. The reason for this is that the burning damage you're looking for happens inside this upper section. This type of failure is very commonly due to poor insulation material right at the shoulder of the windings, which is what ultimately causes an internal short circuit. So, to be perfectly clear, do not bother with the bottom at all. After you have successfully removed all the fasteners at the top, you can then proceed with the main repair. It's worth noting this process is for this model. For a larger 18.5 kilowatt unit, the approach might be different. But for this 5 kilowatt unit, you can likely use a bit more force to get it open. Alright, we're done here. Let's pack up the tools and go.